How's it going guys? Sling HD here with a new video. I'm going to show you today how to access Tor using your Android device. Now you can also do this with an iOS device but we're going to focus on Android. So just to give you a little background how Tor works, Tor conceals the user's identities and their online activity from surveillance and things like traffic analysis by separating identification and routing. So it's basically an implementation of onion routing which what that is is it encrypts and then randomly bounces communications through a network of relays which are usually which are run by volunteers all around the world. So a little more background information. The core principle of Tor, um, which onion routing, was developed in the mid 1990s, I believe, by the United States Naval Research Laboratory. Now, it was developed with the purpose of protecting uh, U.S. intelligence communications online. So knowing just that, you can see why this is a great way to stay anonymous while online. Now, I do have a few videos where I go into a lot more detail on Tor, how to use it, mostly focused on, uh, on a computer. So if you're interested, be sure to check those out um, on my channel. All right, so let's get into how to use Tor on your Android device. Now, there's many applications you can download to do this, but there's three that I'm going to go over that I find function the best um, and have worked the best for me. So you're going to want to go to your Play Store, simply type in Tor Browser. Now, the first three that you see here popped up are the ones that I'm recommending. Now, we'll start off with <clears throat> Orbot. So Orbot, as, it, as, as you see, is a proxy with the Tor. Enhance your privacy, break through firewalls, and communicate safely. Um, this is nice because it has many, many options, set, different settings you can use, such as bridges. Um, you have apps with VPN mode, things like that, um, as you can see there. Now, if you download Orbot, you're going to want to download Orfox as well. Orfox basically works with Orbot. As you can see here, it's a web browser for use with Orbot based on the Tor browser. Now, these two together work very well. Um, as you can see here, this is just how it will look um, when you use it. As you can see up here, there's a dot .onion, so as you can see, that's, that's connected to Tor. <laughs> so there's those two, and now the third one is right here, Fire Onion. Now, Fire Onion essentially is basically what Orfox and Orbot are combined. So it's a web browser that's um, self-contained and has no external dependencies, which makes it very cool. Um, as you can see, when you start it, it'll start out like this: establish your Tor circuit to a oh, to I'm sorry to a store circuit. Then it'll bring you to your uh, default home page, which I would leave the same, which is DuckDuckGo, which is excellent for Tor. Um, it's a dot onion and it doesn't track you. Um, which you shouldn't worry about regardless if you're using Tor, but hey, the save for the better, right guys? So yeah, of the three, I recommend installing all of them, trying them out, see which ones you like better. Me personally, I do like using Orfox combined with Orbot. Um, not for any major reason, but mostly just because it's it was developed by the Tor project. So with that said, guys, I hope this video has helped you out. Um, be sure to check these out, play around with them, do some background information on Tor, how it works. Like I said, I've got tons of videos on that you can check out on my channel. And feel free to leave any questions in the comments that you might have. Um, I'll answer you as soon as possible. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I just hit 700 subscribers, which is a huge accomplishment for me. I know it's not much, but I really do appreciate you guys and the support you give me. So with that said, guys... Take care, have a nice day, and thanks for watching.